everyone, so I have another Books with Brie book review for you guys. Um, I know how much you guys have been loving my book review series and I am so glad because I love it too. Um, if you guys want, you can follow me on my Goodreads account. I post all my updates and the books I'm currently reading, books I want to read, book recommendations that you guys might be interested in, all that good stuff, anything book related. If you guys are huge book nerds like me, um, my Goodreads account is the best way to sort of know what's going on with my book life other than here on my YouTube channel. As you know from the title of the video, I am going to be reviewing the book Delirium uh, by Lauren Oliver. I did a book review, my very first book review actually was of Lauren Oliver's novel Before I Fall, um, I think which is one of her debut novels and um, it's an amazing book and I definitely recommend you guys check out that review. I'll link it here on the screen. I finally got a chance to actually read it and I'm so impressed with the series. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to try and do this book review without uh, spoilers. So um, if you guys do want more of a detailed review and you finished the book already and you want a review with spoilers, um, I have a review on my Goodreads account. So um, anyways, let's just jump into the review of the book. Uh, but basically like a uh, sort of like a basic outline of what the book is about is um, it's the dystopian society. So society is kind of run whereas love is considered a disease. Now it's really an interesting concept because obviously we are raised in a society where love is sort of a, like the most attainable thing. Like we want to achieve love. We want to find love. Um, it's all our whole world revolves around it. Um, so it's kind of like the opposite of our society where we we don't see love as a disease, but in this book they do, which I thought was really interesting. And I'm a huge hopeless romantic, so I was a huge sucker for something like this, um, just because the the concept of it was really, really cute. So the main character's name is Lena, and Lena is um, raised in a society to believe that love is a disease, and when you turn 18, you get the cure for love, and it will cure you of it, and she is super excited at the beginning of the novel. She can't wait to get her cure. She's really worried about getting the disease, um, as most people are. Um, they're raised and cultured to believe that if they get the, any kind of symptoms, then they're going to fall into the disease and bad things happen. There's places they send people who can't be cured, um, or sometimes they even kill you, or they keep trying to cure you until they can. Um, so there's a lot of different things that go on um, in result of being diagnosed as someone who has gotten the love disease. Um, they have a name for it. I think it's Amora Delirium or something. You find out that her mother was a victim to the love disease, so she's kind of been raised to fear it even more because it kind of runs in her blood. Um, so she has grown up living with her aunt and uncle. So what happens with um, Lena is that she actually somehow meets a boy and she falls prey to falling in love. So that isn't pl plot spoilers, it's basically like you find out in, in any kind of synopsis about that. Um, so she falls in love and gets all the symptoms and everything and it's kind of her struggle um, with her belief system with her society and how she has come to know that nothing that she's been raised to understand and nothing that she knows is the same it's all a distorted lie and everything is not what it seems so you kind of get to go on a journey with her and, and not only are you sort of brought along for her ride of her falling in love and the struggles that come with it and the bliss but also the negative stuff um, but you also get to sort of see the societal struggles, which is actually the most interesting thing um, and one of the best parts of dystopian novels, in my opinion. I'll just read you really quickly what the back of the book says. Uh, it says, this, They say that the cure for love will make me happy and safe forever, and I've always believed them until now. Now everything has changed. Now I'd rather be infected with love for the tiniest sliver of a second than live a hundred years smothered by a lie. So that's basically what I just told you about the novel. Um, so she falls in love. She'd rather be in love and risk everything for love. Um, and for this guy that she falls in love with than to be living in a society where everything's a lie. She kind of starts to see that um, the people that have been cured are almost like robots. Before she used to sort of um, admire them and look up to them and want to aspire to be them. But she starts to sort of see all the cracks in the concrete of this beautiful picture that's been painted for her her whole life um, and she's no longer excited for her cure. She's dreading it and counting the days down until she is basically ending her life. It's kind of all the things that happen with that and it's a really intense towards the end and yeah So it's a really really kind of like a roller coaster emotional roller coaster for you as a reader And it's just a really 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 nice novel. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I cannot wait to read Pandemonium I actually have to go pick that up. I 
literally could not put down. It's one of those books you just want to keep reading and I didn't want to stop reading it for a single second. So um, the only complaints that I do have with this book are a small message that kind of is like, it's not an obvious message, but it is something that can be interpreted uh, by some younger girls. In the beginning of the book, Lena sees herself as sort of a plain Jane, kind of average looking girl and doesn't really see herself as beautiful. When she meets him, she starts to feel beautiful when he sees her as beautiful and he starts to tr love her and treat her differently and in certain ways. And when they're together, she feels beautiful. And that to me is a negative connotation um, and a negative message to be sending in these books. Um, I know that it kind of goes along with a bit of like the the way that she's like the society is working but as that inner character's mind is working I just didn't like that I thought that that was something that wasn't a good message because girls should not feel beautiful just because a guy thinks that they're beautiful um, you should feel beautiful on your own. I know that personally growing up when I was younger I always kind of always thought I'm not beautiful until a guy says I'm beautiful and I don't like that because it's not the truth. You have to see yourself as beautiful first and that's one major problem I had with this book. It's the only little tiny complaint that I have because I don't think that that's something that girls should be thinking and I don't want this book to reiterate those feelings if you guys are already feeling that way. I know, I know it's a hard thing and I know with society and the media's pressures today, it is very, very difficult to see yourself as beautiful. Because everything that's shoved in your face on a daily basis is telling you that you're not and you need to do this or buy this to be that way. Um, anyways, I'm a media major in university, so I could go on and on about that for, for hours. So I will stop. I do really love the story. I think it's a great book and I highly recommend reading it if you guys are like little hopeless romantics and you love like a, a little love story with some... some depth to it because it's not just a cheesy love story like oh high school romance like those kinds of books um, because it's got all the other things and elements that kind of contribute to it with society. I don't want to spoil too much of it. Um, if you guys want when I finish Pandemonium obviously you'll have had to have read this already so if you haven't read this one right now like go grow and grab it and buy it read it download it whatever you want to do um and then when i do my book review of pandemonium you guys will be all set and we can talk with some spoilers as if we've already read it but until then i really hope you guys read this book because it's really really good and um leave me in the comments below let me know what you think of the book have you read it yet do you want to read it is, is it something you're interested in and the most important question of the video that i want to know um your thoughts and opinions on is my comment that i just said and talked about a little bit is do you feel that it is right to be sending the message that um, it's okay for girls to feel not beautiful until a guy con con basically confirms that they are? Or do you agree with me and my stance on it and how girls should feel confident and beautiful in, in themselves before, regardless of whether a guy thinks that they're beautiful or not? Um, that's my opinion, personally. But do you guys agree with me or what do you guys think? Um, please subscribe to my channel for more book reviews and I have a lot of back to school videos coming after this as well and a bunch of other good stuff here on my channel. So I'd love to have you guys in my life and we can talk in the comments. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful. Bye.